You know what is so damn great? And we forget about this thing. And it literally just happened to me right now before I came on here is there are people down here at the beach who are always, you know, looking up at my place and then talking about the place. And then if I'm podcasting or I'm live streaming, we'll like stand there and watch and listen and be so intrigued. And that's what I did for 20 years walking up and down the strand here. I would be manifesting. And now I'm evidence for other people and they use me to manifest. That's really damn cool that that happens. And you don't have to have like, you know, the Baller Bay beach house, the Lamborghini, the private plane for you to be someone's example and proof of the abundance that's available to them. Maybe you have a beautiful relationship with your children. Maybe you've lost 30 pounds. Maybe you were brave and quit your job and started something new. Maybe you started a clothing line. Maybe you went through a breakup. You got divorced and you were terrified to do it, but you did it. And you're now evidence for other people of what is possible on the other side. You forget that because you're looking at other people, maybe me, where I'm that evidence for you, but you're also evidence for other people. And allow yourself to be. This is exactly how the law of attraction works. I had to see that someone else had what I wanted and the lifestyle I wanted in order for me to really realize that it's possible. And then it became possible and then we pay it forward. We're going to get your rich bitch energy in order today because we get to reclaim, reinvent, regroup at any time we want our greatest abundance and not one damn person is going to stop us. If you're tired of hearing the same old basic mindset and motivational fluff talk, you've come to the right show. Welcome to Project Me with Tiffany Carter, the podcast where we dish on everything from managing that crazy brain of yours to manifesting abundance to my straightforward, actionable steps that will make you major money online. Now, I'm not your typical multimillionaire entrepreneur. It takes a small village to keep my anxiety and depression in check. I'm inherently disorganized with an intense obsession with office supplies. Your girl here is a digital marketing content expert who's generated over $200 million in sales. I promise by tuning in twice a week, you will get a much needed refreshing dose of truth, clarity, and cash making advice. Now let's get to it. What up, my people, my posse, my fellow crazies? It's your host, Tiffany Carter, and this is the show that is going to grow your business, your bank account, that big, beautiful brain of yours, your mindset, your relationships, your abundance, and everything in between. So coming back, Jungle Stories continued. And if you guys want an entire episode on the downloads and the wildness and the things that occurred in the jungle, you know, just let me know. Best way to let me know about like episode suggestions or recommendations that you want would be to message me on Instagram at Project Me with Tiffany. And I take those very seriously. I create the show for you. Yes, I delight in it, but this is for you. So if you have certain suggestions of topics and things you'd like me to cover, then you need to let me know. And since I've come back from the jungle and doing that work really since that solar eclipse we had, that was also a new moon at the same time, that shit was wild. I was in the ocean on purpose during it with incredibly abundant, wonderful people. I mean, we like did a ceremony it was in the jungle. This this was insane, powerful, powerful stuff. And since I've been back, which hasn't been very long, I'm just like cocooning myself. It's like I was going to go to yoga this morning, but even though I love my yoga studio and the people there, I didn't even want to be in a yoga class. You know, I'm really craving 
a lot of silence, a lot of solace, a lot more alone time. But then if I'm not careful, that shit can really turn on me because then that can turn into kind of like an isolation depression where I'm not moving my body enough. So I am committing today that I am going to go on a long beach walk, but I don't want to. And I'm using this as an example and starting this episode with, you know, getting you in that rich babe energy, rich bitch energy, whatever you want to call it that feels good to you. You're going to get tested. And especially when your intentions are to go, you know what? I'm stepping into this. ZFG, baby. Zero fucks given. I am doing it. It's happening. Um, I'm going to my next level. I'm going to my next iteration version of myself. I am, you know, I'm going to, just like we see with uh, applications on our phone, just like we see with different levels of an iPhone, right? This is your next level of you. Well, then what happens is we end up having stuff try to pull us back down energetically. A lot of it comes from your own subconscious buried money traumas, money noise, and money belief that has beliefs that have been left unchecked. So you don't even know they're there, but they're being left unchecked. And so those are going to pull you down in very sneaky ways where you might not realize it. And you might even feel it. I feel there's something holding me back. I know that I'm doing something. Something is blocking me. I just can't access this, access it. I don't know what it is. And you're right. If you're having that thought, you're absolutely right. Something is. And I would say your next action before my flash sale is over, $200 off my make more work less program. It's my money program that's designed to transform your money story in seven days or less. Some people take longer to go through it. There's um, five modules and then there's a 70 page workbook that goes with it. And just trust you're going at the pace you're going, you need to go at. And there's no way you're not going to get results by doing it, but you do have to look at your shit. And that is... That's scary. You know, I like giving that analogy of you have a clogged drain in your shower. And in order to unclog it, unless you call someone to do it for you, you've got to, you know, unscrew the drain and pull up the disgusting hairball uh, that has like globules of conditioner attached to it. And you've got to pull that thing out and it stinks in order for you to have clear running water and the drain to work well, right? You didn't even know what was under there, but you know some shit's under there. Do you think you have a giant hairball? Do you think it's kind of a small one? You know in your body what's going on. You you can have a sense of that. And if you're like, no, it's something big. And that's why a lot of you resist going deeper and doing the work because you know it's big and then you fear it's something so big and it's going to bring up stuff. It's going to debilitate you. It's going to feel heavy. You're not going to be able to handle it. Yes, you are because it's coming up right now for a reason because it's time for you to deal with it because this is what's getting in your way. And if you resonate with my style, which my I'm gathering you do or you wouldn't be listening or watching right now, that would be your next move. And if you really want to double down on it, I would also join my Project Me Posse business coaching membership. We do um, at least minimum monthly um, money mindset abundance trainings, but also all the strategy to monetize your gifts, passions, and talents online. But that's almost full. Okay. All these links are in the show notes. So you can get them right there. The $200 off my Make More Work Less course is applied automatically at checkout. It's in the description on YouTube as well. So how this kind of dark side, some people call it, right, Jezebel spirit, some can call it the devil, some can call it the shadow, how it, it starts trying to pull you. So I just came off of putting myself in a space where on my next level abundance, I cleared a bunch of shit to go to, to ascend to my next level 
I felt so supported and incredible and relaxed and free. And then what happens is in sneaky ways, it, you know, that other side starts trying to pull you back to keep you back to where you were. Let's keep you back at your set point. This is what we know. This is what's familiar. This is what feels safe to your ego. And your ego is all about safety. So let's keep you safe. Let's pull you back. And why I shared about me not wanting to go to yoga and all that, I could justify that this morning, right? I don't want to go to yoga. It's probably understandable. My system, I'm integrating from everything I did. My system's really sensitive. Da 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 do. Okay, that's okay. But then what happens when that happens the next day and the next day? And now I'm not moving my body. Now I'm isolating. Now that's going to start pulling me out of that abundant energy, but it's so sneaky. And then I can really create a story of, I don't feel that well. I don't really want to talk to people. So I'm committed to myself to take contrary action to that seductive voice. It's very seductive. You're going to start now that I'm bringing it to your attention, you're going to start noticing it happening. So I'm leading with this part so you know this is absolutely going to happen even right after you're done listening to this episode and you're feeling like fire like hell yeah my ass is rich you're feeling so good in us creating this you might even go to open your email and find out no one has bought your thing. A client has canceled an unexpected bill. You Anything can, you know, you get bad news and you can go, ah, see, it's not possible for me to have this next level. There's always something that happens that is going to happen. Just know that's going to happen. That's sitting there. It's trying to pull you back down because the last thing the devil wants, the last thing the shadow wants, the last thing the gremlins want, Quite frankly, the last thing the government wants, I mean, I'm not going to go heavy into it, but is for you to ascend, for you to be in that abundant vibe, because you can't be controlled when you're in that vibe. You can't be, you can't be heavily rattled in that vibe. You're your best self in that vibe. You think the most clearly in that vibe. It's very difficult to manipulate you when you're in that vibe. It wants to hold you back. So my contrary action is whether I feel like it or not, because Let's be real. You're not going to feel like doing most things most of the time, especially if you're wired like me and you're type C for chill. I'm not a type A person. I don't feel like doing most things. I would be really fine ordering an egg bagel sandwich from Uber Eats, a $14 iced coffee, and sitting in my cuddler chair in silence, watching and listening to the waves all day. And is there anything wrong with doing that? No, but I also have to be honest and I know ultimately is that serving my abundance? I already rotted all day yesterday. Keep in mind, this isn't like me not giving myself a rot day. There was already a a full rotting that occurred and I allowed myself to have that and that was abundant, right? Rotting, recuperating, that's fine, but it's that subtle and this is why it's so dangerous to go about doing this expansion work without a community, you know, without other people who are safe, without someone who is consistently reminding you of this stuff because of how seductive it's almost look at your ego as like a really well trained narcissist and gaslighting you. That's what's happening. So you have to counteract it with action. Proper actions lead to proper thoughts. A lot of people will say proper thoughts lead to proper actions, which they can. But a lot of times it's hard to get to proper thoughts if you're stuck, you get stuck in a spiral like I do. So then you just got to break it with taking proper action. So I'm going for a walk, whether I feel like it or not, because I know it's for my greater good. So you can borrow that. I'm going to do this whether I feel like it or not, because I know it's going to serve my greatest good, period, end of story. So you want to get in this rich babe energy so you can attract the money that you want to attract. 
you got to start by feeling yourself. You've forgotten. You've been beaten down by people, places, things, stuff in life, all the nonsense going on in the world. And you have forgotten that you are an abundant being, that you are a spiritual being here having a human experience. You're supposed to be abundant. You have innate gifts and talents and skills. Some are learned, some um, were natural gifts that were given to you that you've worked on refining. You already have all the things that you were supposed to have. That doesn't mean you don't need to learn more, or get to learn more, but you already have enough as you are today in order to have the lifestyle that you want to have. But how could you possibly have the lifestyle changing cash, the freedom, the options, the abundance that you want to have if you don't embody that energy yourself. So you know how they say they, meaning I don't know, a million different motivational expert people over time that you need to dress the part, you know, dress for success, right? Like, and there is some truth to that when you're embodying and even dressing, doing external things that match the abundance that you want to have right? Like for me, something I did when I transitioned from my corporate jobby job to having a business 16 years ago is I was wearing corporate pantsuits, prison suits. And as much as I, you know, listen, I, I was cute in a lot of these. Okay. And as much as I knew I looked cute, that, that wasn't abundance to me. That wasn't freedom to me. The first thing I did when I got through that door was I would change and put on my comfies, as I call them. I'm someone who I like being in athletic clothes. I like wearing robes. I like being naked. I like feeling I love soft material. I don't like being confined by outfits unless I so choose, right? If, unless I'm like, okay, like I'm hoeing it up tonight, you know, but I like being able to wear whatever I want, whenever I want. And I don't need to put on a fucking costume, a face full of makeup, my hair a certain way in order to fit a part in order to make the money. I don't want to have to. That doesn't mean I'm not mindful of my words. OK, but being mindful of your words and mindful of your audience, like who I'm talking to. Obviously, I'm being interviewed on TV. I don't swear. When I go do corporate speaking events and I'm doing sales trainings and things like that, like I don't talk about the same stuff like I talk about here on the show, right? You're very I'm mindful of my audience, but I don't want to be censored. I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to be playing. I don't want to be in the matrix. The matrix is not where we get wealth. Okay. We got to get you out of the matrix. I understand some of you are still in both worlds. You're in the program jobby job world. And if you want to be in that, there, I have no shame in that game. You, If you're happy and abundant, that's wonderful. But if you're not, it's a different story. Maybe even your own business that you have, you're, it doesn't feel abundant to you. You feel you're playing some persona or part. You're trading all of your time for money. You can't say this or that to clients that you wish you could. You've got to do this. You have to be on call on this times. I hear this a lot from realtors. I hear this a lot from my lawyers. I coach my medical practitioners, um, even people who are healers. I'll hear from you guys. I feel like I'm a fraud because I'm, I struggle with this, that or the other. But then all of my content, I need to show people I'm so like high vibe and ethereal and all this all the time. And it's like, no, you don't. Who told you that? That's a belief you have that you have to be that way in order for people to buy from you. And it doesn't feel good because it's out of integrity and it's a lie. So I did not want this life. So what felt abundant to me was me wearing whatever I wanted. So even though I couldn't show up, obviously, <laughs> to a corporate client wearing a robe, okay, they'd probably have me arrested. The second I got home, second I got to a hotel room, I had to do a lot of business travel put on the robe. This feels so good to be in this robe. I love this. I, I can't wait to be able to make money by wearing whatever I want. This is happening. So you do want to dress the part. It's just a little different where that other phrase came from. It's like almost like propaganda. Like you have to, you have to 
um, put on a costume in order to whatever. If it makes you feel abundant to have full glam done, your hair, you know, have a snatched outfit, that's amazing. I know a lot of people like that, that genuinely love that feeling. It's a form of expression and it, where it's not a have to, then I want you to do that. What is your most abundant self, your next level version? Even close your eyes. Well, not if you're driving, but like, what is he or she wearing? You know, what, what is, what feels free to you? I love, I loved in the jungle. Just, I mean, I could just wearing bikinis and like little cover-ups, flowy dresses. That also felt very abundant to me. I call it beach dirty. I love being beach dirty. If you're watching here on YouTube right now, I'm beach dirty. My hair has a lot of salt water in it. We have some highlights from the sun. It's it's dirty. I And there's definitely some sand stuck between my toes. I like that feeling. I also like how it feels to do like a full everything shower, right? But I like that feeling. It feels carefree. It feels casual to me. It reminds me that I have the options. It, it it's proof to me. The more I the more I rest, the more money I make. I get to work less and make more. What gives you that feeling? What does that person look like? And some of you might go, well, she'd be wearing Chanel and she'd be wearing this and I don't have the money for that. So then we're then then where you don't have to get something just because it's stamped with a fucking logo. Wear something that feels abundant to you, a fabric, right? Where, you know, wear something that feels plush and that feels nice, but it just doesn't have that stamp of that brand that makes it, a you know, a gazillion dollars. Maybe you donate anything that doesn't fit. One of the most liberating things I did was getting rid of all of those business suits. I don't need those. It doesn't matter. Not for me. But if that feels good to you, I want you to do it. So what? that's your first thing of going into this rich babe energy. The hair, is there makeup? What's the nail situation? Um, what's going on? How does she carry herself? How does she walk? Again, it's he or she. It doesn't matter. But I'm not going to keep saying, you know, all the iterations. What is what happens and what does the morning look like? What does the evening look like? What would you do more of? What does it what does fe feeling free feel like to you? And you're going to start incorporating those things. I don't want you to start going, well, I can't do that. I don't have that money yet. For me, having freedom of time being able to go to TJ Maxx, which my internationals are like, what's TJ Maxx? It is basically a um, a dic discount store where you can find like um, things for your home and clothes, but like you can you can come up on a find. I don't know. It's very therapeutic. I I highly enjoy this. And yes, rich people love coming up on a find too. Freedom to me is being able to at any time of day I want, go into a TJ Maxx and I'm not constantly looking at my clock to see what time it is to run for an appointment or I have to go somewhere. I get to stay as long as delights me. That's freedom to me. It's, it's heavily based on freedom of time. I don't wear a watch anymore. And I have some beautiful watches and expensive watches. Um, I don't want an Apple watch. I don't give a fuck. That is not freedom to me. Not approved. I'd be open to that ring I see some of you guys have, right? Like if I wanted it to track things on me or whatever, but I want to feel free. I don't want, I don't want the constant looking of a thing because it's not that, you know, it's, I want to be able to have freedom of time. Me being able to have extended trips, that's freedom for me. But you might not be able to realistically incorporate that into your life every day because you're still in the old version of you. We're ascending you into the rich babe version of you, your next iteration of you. So maybe you do this once a week, but when you're doing it, you're really sinking into it and you're really enjoying it. 
there is a friend of mine I met on the retreat and she has twins. I'm going to have her on the show. Actually, she has a set of twins. They're seven years old. She has a big company that she runs. She has a husband. She has responsibilities and her next level version of herself is she takes an abundance bath every night, every night. And so someone could easily go, oh my God, I don't have time. I've, I don't have, I have kids. I don't know. No, this is important for her to do this. It's for the greater good of her family. And when she's in there, she's truly present. She's not answering emails. She's not planning dinner. She's in there with reading a she likes these what's that series there's a trending book series that's it's like a sexy escape book i don't know there's several series that are trending right now she's reading not personal development she's reading whatever she wants because she can because that's abundant and she delights in that right so whatever it is you want you can incorporate some of that if you want to be able to do five star travel first class travel then your ass needs to do what I used to do and go to the nicest hotel or the nicest restaurant in your area. And you can sit at the bar area and you can have a fucking tea. You can order something, you know, that is the lower cost thing and sit there and luxuriate in it and sit in it and really feel it. And, and keep saying to yourself, oh, this feels so good. I want to be able to do this all the time. I want to be able to like eat here whenever I want. And it's happening. It's happening for me. This is happening for me. This is happening for me right now. Go to open houses of homes that you want to live in. You know, you're not costing that agent any, anything more. Don't waste someone's time and say you're interested in buying it, you know, but go into it. Feel it. Look at the view. I did that to manifest my baller beach house. Feel it, what it would feel like, listening to the waves, having, being able to watch the sunset and the ocean from your bed. And this is happening for me. I'm calling this in. It's happening for me. This feels so good. I love this. I need you to get exposed to it. And Define what that looks like. This doesn't need to be your ultimate rich babe self, okay? This doesn't need to be 10 versions of you from now. I think that's where people get stuck is they go too far ahead, right? And then it can seem almost like it's too far away. It's too um, unbelievable. Um, It's almost too abundant. And And then you end up with that shadow side coming in and grabbing you like, you're a dreamer. That's not possible, you know, possible. We're not going from an iPhone 3.0 to iPhone, whatever we're on now, 17. There had to be different iterations that get better and better and better and better, right? That's all we're doing is we're, we're doing your next level and taking actions that get you into that feeling. You know, you don't have to go pay for the trip in order to feel that. But what can you do that can get you into it? Is it you going and once a week being able to go and order the exact salad that you want with the extra avocado and the green juice that you know is overpriced because it doesn't matter. You get to have whatever you want. Is it you having scheduling a facial and maybe you are not at a point where it is You can do the facial at like a four seasons, right? But you can still go get a facial or even use great products and do a home facial and really feel into this, right? I I am calling into my life being able to have spa treatments whenever I want that make me feel so nurtured and supportive and my overall well-being. And there's no guilt because there's so much abundance and so much money. I can do what I want. You want this. You know, like last night, I decided at like late afternoon during my rotting, why am I rotting without a massage? There has to be someone that can come to my house and massage me. And I found a nap and there were a lot of people to choose from. And so I, I manifested picking the right person that was best on best energetic match for me. And I trusted that. And I was totally right. I'm sure I'm sharing behind the scenes of it on my Instagram stories at project me with Tiffany. 
He's delightful, a gigantic gay man. So for me, I felt very safe and his energy is delightful and highly talented and is strong enough to work through my trauma muscle situation. If you've gone through a lot of trauma in your life, especially like abuse, physical trauma, we have like, it, it takes, a, it's like to go through those layers of muscle and it's almost like we have scar tissue from bracing ourselves. And I have to have someone very strong and intuitive to really bust through that. And he did set up the bed. We had the windows open, looking at the ocean, listening to the sounds of the ocean. He's, he's getting the abundance too. He's getting to look at the view and listen to the ocean. And I'm getting this in my house as a 90 minute massage. And then he leaves. You want this, right? But what would I have done before I could afford that? Because obviously I can do that now without thinking twice about it. And in fact, I'm doing it again next week. I've already booked him next week because that is true abundance for me is having the option to do it and not have to think about it because I am the type of person who invests highly in my health and my overall well-being because that always pays off. I have never not invested in my health and well-being and had it not pay off. And quite frankly, neither have you. It always pays off. So that's my number one investment. And then my number two investments I always make are to further in income generating activities, right? And having proper coaches, support, growing, growing my business and joy generating activities like such as travel and shenanigans and my new talent, which is the light whip. Yes, this is a talent I have learned that I have. I must have done it in a past life. I have shared a video of it from the jungle where I did a full performance. Picture a neon whip that you are doing tricks with that gives this really cool optical illusion at night. So I have since now ordered said whip and I will be going and doing evening performances when I feel called on the beach at night. And no, I'm not joking. That's investing in a joy generating activity. Do I really need a, a whip, a neon, a neon raver whip? No, I don't. But my inner child wanted it and it always pays off to be able to do that. So I want you to take something that will help you anchor into the feeling of that next level rich babe life. Maybe it's you buying the type of coffee you will you really want, but you don't buy it because it's $3 more. That doesn't mean you have to buy it all the time. Maybe it's something that you have once a week, but then you need to sit with that feeling Maybe you need to go and take a walk in, I call it in the rich people neighborhood that you want to live in, and you take regular weekly walks there while doing my abundance walks, which by the way, are free. They're in my bio on TikTok, TikTok, on TikTok and Instagram. I've got all the stuff here for you guys to anchor into this. So I'm curious, what are things that you're going to do? It could be changing your environment. I don't remember purchasing any of these things in another Amazon situation. I don't remember purchasing them. They were obviously purchased probably on my flight back from the jungle. And all these packages were brought into the house here. And when I came in, I was laughing. I go, wow, I must have had a very interesting idea that I don't remember and then I started opening them and I go, oh, I see what I was doing. I wanted to have, um, I need my, I want my decor to be elevated in my home. Like that, that better matches that next level rich babe energy of mine, right? Like I'm looking, I'm on the hunt for a new couch. Where the fuck do I buy a couch? And don't tell me restoration hardware. I don't, I'm not, I'm not paying, I'm not buying a mass produced cloud couch from restoration hardware. Where can I go to get um, a couch, a couch that's like really good quality. That's not some piece of shit that like breaks down in two years. So I, I want to get some nice pieces, right? That, and I don't mean like 
overpriced and stuff that I don't think is worth it, but like high quality that makes me feel something like elevated fabrics and decor. So I bought this stuff to give it more of a vibe, more of a, like a sexy, rich vibe inside the primary bedroom here. And I was like, this is really fun. I wanted to curate it. And it's really cute. I got this lux luxurious candle. I got all these things. But I mean, was that, did I spend a ton of money? No, I didn't spend a ton of money. But now I have this spot and I go, ooh, this feels really good when I look at it. Maybe it's you even doing your own painting. I don't know. But you've got to get yourself in that mode. She exists. She is there. You're not meant to stay where you're at anymore. If you were meant to stay where you're at right now, you would be staying where you're at. You would not have a desire. You would not have a pull. You would not have a yearning to go to this next version of you if it wasn't time. And just because it's time, that doesn't mean it just happens to you. You have to co-create with the universe. You have to make it happen. You have to take steps in that direction, and then it will meet you there. You have to make it crystal clear that you want this. You can't just expect the universe to guess, just like you can't expect another person to read your mind. Well, don't expect the universe to read your mind. Make that clear. I'm expanding to the next level version of me. What does that next level of abundance and freedom look like to me? Does it look like being able to work four days a week. What are some other things? Like what are things you would do for fun? What would you wear? What would you eat? Where would you go? How would you feel every day? Would you have time in the day? This is one for me where I just sit and I just look out into a beautiful view or I even stare at a wall and I have time, qu quiet time to do whatever the fuck I want. That's true freedom for me. That's worth all the, all the effort and all the money healing and all the wound clearing and all the things that I've done that I have the option to do what I want on any given day. I genuinely do. And because I know I have the option, it makes it easier for me to show up and do things that actually require work, you know, income generating activities, because I know I do have this freedom. It makes it so worth it. So what is that for you? What does she look like? What types of things does she say? How does she move? What does she eat? What is she drinking? What kind of cup does she drink out of? What is she doing? What types of things is she talking about? What types of friends does she have in her life? What types of extracurricular activities or hobbies? And then start incorporating those so you can see how that feels when i had no money i would buy like one fancy lip gloss from a brand and at that time when i didn't have money i would buy like i bought like a lancome juicy tube those were like i remember they're 18 dollars for a fucking lip gloss now that's normal but that was like wild to me i bought one Oh, but I loved being able to pull it out and put it on, especially if I was around people. And it was like, and then I think the next level I went to was like Dior with the really cool packaging came out with their lip gloss. And then that was even more money. And then I bought one of those. I mean, this is, you see what I'm saying? You don't, I'm embodying it. What makes you feel rich? Answer that question. What in the fuck makes you feel rich? This is here and available for you. You're just stuck at an old version. You got kind of stuck in it. And this was designed to, to break you through that energy. Make sure that you leave a five-star review for the show so that you can get my content creation make easy course bundle. So as long as you're leaving a written review on Apple Podcasts, that's the only area where you can leave written reviews. Um, put your name or Instagram or TikTok handle in the review. Take a screenshot, email it to us at support at projectbeamwithtiffany.com and you'll get instant access 
to my $477 content creation made easy course bundle for free. I have opened this up to people who listen on Spotify or YouTube. You just need to do a public post of the show on social media and tag me, take a screenshot of it and email it to us and we'll do the same thing. The instructions are in the show notes. So if you if I went too fast for you, you can go in here. It's in celebration of hitting 600 for 600 episodes of this show and that it just continues to grow and expand and help people all over the world and showing my abundance and appreciation for you. And if you really want to make sure that you're not going to have these limiting beliefs, these subconscious money traumas, these things holding you back anymore, then, then make a move and take advantage of that jungle flash sale and get the make more work less guided course period end of story like you can see in the highlight inside instagram the hundreds of people who have had incredible results very quickly from doing this work it doesn't have to be hard your brain just says it's going it has to be hard in order to have what i want no it doesn't that doesn't mean it's not going it's not going to be uncomfortable and cringy and scary and awkward and vulnerable at times that's for damn sure. But it gets to happen faster than ever. You have a giant hairball and you remove that hairball, your drain is going to work and your drain has not been working great for quite a while. We can unclog it. It can be unclogged literally in the first module. And then you'll laugh and go, oh my God, I can't believe I waited so long to do this work. It, ha it happened so much easier than I thought. You just built a case that it had to be so hard and take so much time to get what you want. Well, that's certainly not going to motivate you to do the work. It can happen actually faster and easier and more fun than ever and allow that to be true because it is true. But not if you don't believe that and not if you're not like looking for a shortcut. You know, that's a scarcity kind of entitled gross energy where it's like, well, I did this and I didn't have anything happen and it's been seven days. Yeah, well, it's not going to happen from that attitude. It's just not. That's the problem, right? You have to be able to surrender and trust in divine timing and believe in the possibility because you continuing to believe it's not possible is only keeping your drain clogged and it's you're using so much energy and bandwidth if it's possible for me, it has to be possible for you. I am not of sound mind. Okay. I am, I am deaf. I know you guys are likely way more focused and organized than me. I'm a procrastinator and I'm not saying this stuff to put myself down. I'm just making a point. Have you met a lot of rich people? I know a lot of rich people. A lot of them are whack. A lot of them aren't well. A lot of them don't shower. There's people who are super stunning and rich. There's people who are the homeliest people I've ever met. It's not a, it, you don't have to be any certain type of aware person. There's people I know who are kind of not smart at all, who are very wealthy. And then I know brilliant people who are wealthy. But the common theme is, is this is here for you and you're going to get it. I mean, you're destined to get it as long as you believe that. Or your destiny is you're not going to get it because you feel you're destined to fail. You're destined to be broke. Your, your current circumstances mean this is what you're destined for. What? Your current cir circumstances are not an indicator of your future whatsoever. That's not even, that doesn't even make sense when you really break that down. Just because you're at where you're at right now, just because you've been divorced two times, just because you've had three miscarriages, that doesn't mean you're not going to have a baby. That doesn't mean you're not going to meet the most incredible love of your life. Just because you've invested in things and it's not paid off, that doesn't mean that your next investment isn't going to make you millions of dollars, right? You're keeping yourself trapped by giving your energy into those scarcity thoughts because you have left your mind unmanaged. You have to deliberately create that next version of yourself just like we did today. And you have to deliberately do it and you have to do something every single day to remind yourself of it 
and that's what works. And why couldn't you do that? You're telling me you can't put on a lip gloss every day and listen to the podcast. You're telling me that you can't once a week go take a walk in an, in the neighborhood that you really want to live in. You're telling me that you can't go into an open house. You're telling me that you can't wear the exact items of clothing that you want to wear every day once you, you know, come home from work. You're telling me that you can't go sit at a restaurant that you would love to eat at whenever you want to eat at or that a restaurant that kind of like embodies the energy of a dream trip that you want to go on to Italy and you can't go there and order a tea or order an appetizer. Mm, not true, not facts. Do this and see what happens and report back to me. Wishing you great health, wealth, and worth as always. Love you. If you enjoyed this podcast, please write a five-star review on iTunes. Not only will this make me super happy, but it will allow more listeners to find our special show. Simply help me help others.